What you doing, Dave? Checking out my rear axle. On your Freedom Hauler? Yeah, checking out the axle. What's going on? I have one tire that's wearing weird. We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. As you can see, this tire is worn fairly even, all the tread. Mm -hmm. And this one, this tread's real light compared to the rest of them. Is this the tire you're talking about? Nope, the other one. But that's what that one looks like. And what seems to be weird about it? The tread's wearing on one side more than the others. Oh yeah, the insides. Come with a six ton bottle jack. That ought to be plenty. <laughs> I'm hoping. If it isn't, huh? We got bigger problems. I see you got your trusty rug. You know it. Well, you've uh, you've used that a lot, haven't you? I've trashed it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say yesterday when we pulled in that you thought it looked like the one tire was turned more than the other? Yeah. Nothing obvious, huh? No. Nothing obvious. What are you looking at, Dave? My uh, Freedom Hauler troubleshooting pamphlet. Uh huh. And it says for tire wear, check alignment, tires parallel, the tie rod adjusts the toe. That's. That's what you were talking about yeah, doing. Adjusting the tie <clears> rod <throat> toe. How do you know which way to do it? Well, if the inside of the tires wearing that means the tires turned out a little bit okay so what you want to do is run the tie rod connector in a little bit to bring that tire back after talking to the tim at uh freedom haulers the engineer he said that that tire wear problem's got nothing to do with the tie rod ends because it's a it's a live tie rod and if you bring it in on this end it's going to bring it in on that end, too. And he's saying that this kingpin right here that goes all the way through the the uh, spindle. Where's it at? This thing right here, the kingpin. Okay. It's a bolt that goes all, tapered bolt that goes all the way through it uh -huh. with a nut down here. He says that might be a little loose. And he says if that's loose, it'll cause that or tire wear. And he said, also check the bearings. And if you, that one's just a little loose. So I'm gonna check that next, but this also was a little loose. Hmm. So I tightened that up. So, I mean, just a little bit's gonna do a lot. Show me the other part you were wiggling back and forth there. The hub, right there. Is that, a, I can hear it like moving. Yeah. Does the other side do that? I don't know. I haven't been there yet. Oh, okay. So I'm going to take this out and pull the bearings out and check them all out. And if they're good, re-grease them. Okay. Put them back in and snug it back down. I mean, it's supposed to be no slop in there. Mm-hmm. And as you can hear, there's slop. A tiny bit. There's our bearings. And I'm going to need a little pair of pliers to get this pin out. That should be a washer. There's the washer. Thing. And there's our bearings. 
So what would you be looking for in the bearings? Just wear and tear, loose bearing, something I gotta clean them up to take a look at them. Okay. There's a little wear. See that? Mm-mm. That's going in and out. Yeah. Shouldn't go in and out that much. But let's clean it up. Why do you do you use brake cleaner? Because it cuts the grease out, it dissolves the grease and gets rid of it. And then when it dries, it leaves no residue. Like if you use gasoline or something like that, it can leave a residue in there and mm -hmm. dissolve the new grease you put in. You don't feel any catches or anything, huh? No, and the bearings look pretty good. Normally you'll see a, like a line or something. A discoloration in them. Mm. It'll be a darker brown or blue. That looks new. Yeah, those look pretty good. Is it okay to be black like that? Yeah. It all turns black. That's metal filings in it. Make it black. That's typical? Yeah. That race don't look real bad at all. Instead of going through all the hassle of pounding out the races and putting new or, or the races and putting new ones in. Bought the kit. Bought the kit. It's already said and done. So if you didn't have the kit, what would you have to do? I'd have to take this bearings out, get new bearings, and this race in here. Mm -hmm. That shiny part, you have to push it out of there. Don't you have to have like equipment to do yeah, that? Yeah, press to get them out. So by the time you go do all that, you may as well just buy a whole new kit? Yep. Save that for a rainy day? Yep, just save this hub for a rainy day. Where did you get this? Tractor supply. Oh, wow. How much did that cost? $87. Mm. And I figured by the time I got done with bearings, are about Forty-five dollars mm -hmm. with the seal, mm -hmm. and then you got to go through all the hassle of pulling the races out and putting new ones in, and all that. It's looking pretty attractive. <laughs> that turns your, uh, it keeps you from going to a, like a six to ten beer oh, yeah. job down yeah. to just a three. Yeah, it's a three beer job now, not a ten beer. Uh huh. So you got to subtract money right there, savings. Oh, all the beer you save. All the beer you have. Yeah. Gives you new lug nuts, pins. Oh, it's already got the grease in it. Yeah, it's got grease and bearings already in it. Wow. So, ain't that nice. Yeah. But, I'm going to put a little extra grease in it. Why? Because I'm that kind of guy. See, now that baby got a little grease in it. Mm-hmm. And I'll just... A little dip... Dipple do ya? Little dabble do ya. Dippity do? Dippity do. Now that shows my age. <laughs> yeah, it does. We better watch it. <laughs> then we put a little on this side. Oh man, that greased up good. And it's got all new seals in the back and all that, so. Let's see the back. Oh, okie dokie. So, I don't have to screw around with putting seals in and out. Clean all the old goo off the spindle. And we take a look around at the spindle. It's not loose or anything, is it? Well, it's got a little play in it. You see it? Is that from the kingpin? From the kingpin. Show me where the kingpin is. It's this way here. Uh huh. The bolt that goes all the way through this. So you got to tighten that up too? Yep. And grease it and tighten it back up. Let's do it. Let's do it. How much do you know how to squeeze in there? I just keep going until I see some starting to ooze out the top and the bottom. There it is. I 
got to take this off. Take that off of there. And I'll put it on this one. Tighten it back up. It's taking a lot of grease. Yeah. Doesn't always squirt out, but I mean, it's, eh, it should be enough. You can do that on both sides? I did the other side already. Oh. Move the bad boy back and forth a little bit. Getting your work out. How loose that is. I can move it with my hand. That kingpin? Yeah. What's up with that? Should be a little tighter than that. Kind of see. Maybe that's why you got a little play in it. Yep. So. Sometimes you need to. And they it. say the. Oh man, the correct way to do this is snug it down. Or it has enough friction. Not moving now, is it? Nope. So you found play in both the kingpins and in the camp and the bearings. bearings. Yeah. All right, so we take this. There. You got to get it on there just so see so. There it goes. Uh oh, don't lose your stuff. Your Push bearings. that one in. Bearings in. Let's get the second bearing in. There it goes. So put the washer on. Can you play with it now? No play in that at all. Where's the hole? Where's the hole? How many beers is this one, Dave? Ah, oh, this is only a two beer job. Yeah? Yeah. But the only thing is, you really don't know. Eight beers thinking about it. <laughs> it's true. But you really don't know how it's going to be until after you get to drive it for right. a while. Right. Run it down the road for a while and check tire wear. So, Dave, you decide you're going to rotate the tires? Yep. Yeah, I'm going to give the tires a little rotate. They're already up in the air. That's true. And that'll help you determine if anything's going on a lot quicker, won't it? It will. So now you're gonna need more than two beers. More than two beers. This is gonna be a, this is gonna be a twelve packer. Is it more difficult to change it to rotate the tires? Well, you know. <laughs> I gotta come up with an excuse for something. Uh huh. What would you do without Zippy? He's like your utility trailer, isn't he? He is. He's my mini pickup truck. <laughs> yeah, swap out your tire monitor so that it reads properly in the... The right side goes to the GPS right tire. System, yeah. These 
tire's a little easier than the RV. Just a little bit. You're not even bleeding yet. I did run into the corner of the RV up there with my shoulder. Oh, yeah? My bad shoulder. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to torque these to? 60 pounds. And let's see. That one's 60. So Dave, you've had your Freedom Hauler for just over a year now. Yep. So tell us what you think. So far, I like it. I mean, uh, a little problem with the alignment, but I suppose after pounding down the roads of the greater U.S. of A, and we all know what kind of condition those things are in, so I expected a little bit of alignment problems, but I got it. I think I got it corrected. We'll find out. And you haul only your smart car in here right now? Yeah, only the smart. Okay. And this is a six foot platform? Yeah. And they also do eight and ten? Eight and tens. Okay. I, they, they once told me they'll do anything you want. Uh-huh. But I think they I don't know how how true that is. I think maybe they make them narrower and you can make them wider. Like, yeah. And they have options with shocks and yeah, this is hundred and two inches wide. Okay. So. Which works with a smart car. Right. And you, of course you use the ramps to get it up there. Yep. What do you like best about it? It rides well. I don't have to, I can back up with it. Uh, it just works really good. It's small enough to where I have it back here and it's not some great big huge thing hanging out the rear of the coach. Is there anything you wish you would have done differently if you were to buy a new one? Uh, no, not really. Okay. No. It's, it's um, met your expectations. It has. Is there uh, anything else you'd like to say about it, if, it, if anybody's contemplating on getting one? Well, I just think it, uh, it's a real nice machine. It's well thought out. And I think you get what you pay for. Yeah, you do get what you pay for. The newer ones now have a locking device down in on the axle where you can lock it up where the wheels are straight and you can use it as a utility trailer I think to put behind a pickup truck or a car or something like that. Haven't you seen it with like a little toolbox attached yeah, underneath yeah, it too? Yeah, they also have little attachments you can hang toolboxes underneath and things like that. And I'm thinking about getting some of that just for the fact that you always need storage. Do you know what some of the options are you can add on? Like are the leafs uh, down there? You can add electric brakes leaf springs, shocks, uh, I think that's about it, besides the toolboxes and things like that. Now can you detach that very easily? A uh, couple bolts and it'll come out. But it's pretty heavy and kind of awkward yeah, to Yeah, it has a wheel that it comes with. Oh, it you got the, on, the wheels in the, the, in the basement of the RV right now. Yeah. So that you can roll it around. You can then. roll it around after you get it all mm -hmm. unattached. And it comes with a spare tire underneath there, I see. Right. And that's uh, secured with a pin, which is good. Yep. And w what's this thing? Oh, the gray covered. Oh, that's my blue boy. Okay, so you've got a storage rack. I built a little uh, rack to go on it to put my blue boy on it. Okay. I got tired of the blue boy in the basement. I think they build a quality product. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Dave? Well, I didn't break anything. Are you bleeding? No, I don't think so. Am I? Nope, looks good. All right. Watts on wheels, out. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.